In this video, we are talking about crate training. It's inevitable that these puppies will need to spend time by themselves at some point or another. So I want to show you how we can give these puppies a head start as far as learning that they need to be alone sometimes. Even if you have several puppies at your house right now, you can get a head start on teaching them to be by themselves. Here are the items you'll need in this video. Get ready to pause, we'll type them out for you. So there's different ways that we can incorporate crate training throughout the day. One is during meal times. It's really useful to put the puppy's kibble in a little puzzle toy. Okay, this is a Kong wobbler. You open it up, you put the kibble inside, you close it, then they get to, um, you know, tap this around and the kibble falls out. So that would be a great thing that you could just put inside the crate um, for them to do. But I would put one to two puppies, depending on how many puppies you have and how many crates you have. Let's say I have several puppies, I'm going to put one in here and one in here, and they're going to eat their meals in the crates today. And the other puppies that I have maybe are in the pen eating where they normally eat. But for each meal time, I could rotate so that at breakfast time, these two puppies are getting crate time. At lunch time, another two puppies are getting crate time and so forth so that they're getting experience being alone in a crate, but in a happy scenario where they're eating their food. Similarly, during the day, I want you to put the puppies in crates for one to two hours at a time. And again, rotating through which puppies are getting the crate time. So you want to make sure that in the crate, they have some kind of safe chew. I usually like to put a harder chew and a softer chew. Um, these rubber West paw topples are great or a rubber Kong. You can put a little biscuit in there or you can smear a little bit of cream cheese or some natural peanut butter in there. You can put their kibble in here and put them together and it becomes a puzzle toy. Some something to occupy their time so that if they are awake and they're inside the crate, they have something happy to do. For nighttime, it's helpful to have a snuggle puppy. This is a nice stuffed animal. It doesn't have any buttons or anything that they could possibly rip off that's not safe for them. You can open up this belly of the puppy and there's a heart inside that you push the button and it has a little heartbeat. You can also put a heating pack inside of this Velcro enclosure so that it feels like a warm puppy with a heartbeat and it's a really good comfort item when that puppy's alone in a crate. But for night times, it's a good idea that if you have some of the puppies sleeping in a pen, maybe one puppy gets a crate, one puppy gets this crate, the crates are right next to each other. So I would line them up so that the puppies are right next to each other. They're right next to the pen where their other, other litter mates are, but they're getting that experience of being in their own space. Just having that divider between them and the next puppy is a good, happy way to slowly introduce them to being alone. We're introducing this puppy to the crate for the first time. He's never been in this crate, so I'm just going to toss some treats in there and see if he's willing to go in and get them. And then he gets to come right back out again. I'm not shutting the door. He's willing to put his little head in, it looks like. We'll see if we can get all four paws eventually. Good job, little buddy. Yes, good boy. So I'm going to add some more treats in there while he's all the way inside. Just let him see that it's a happy place to be. He can come out if he wants. I'm not going to make him stay in there. Good job, do you want to come out? Oh, look at that good sit. Yeah, we'll reward that. You want to go in here and check it out again? Look. It's like, I don't know about that. Yeah, look, buddy. Here we go. See if he'll go back inside. Notice his little paws, he's a little hesitant. Not sure quite where he is. So we just keep adding food to the floor that he gets to sniff and clean up. It's like, oh yeah, this space is awesome. If he wants to come out, he gets to come out. Good job, little buddy. Good job. Get that good sit. Yeah, you wanna try again? You're doing so awesome, do you wanna try again? Yeah. Okay, so I would do this with each puppy. I would spend a good minute or two with each puppy, just letting them go in and out. And then eventually we'll shut the door. We'll sit right next to this puppy. We'll probably add some treats inside so that he can see it's not that bad. He just gets to get the treats through the door of the crate, but there is this separation here. This is the first step in helping them see, oh, it's actually okay that there's a barrier there. And then when he's nice and calm, we'll just let him come right back out again. And again, I'll spend two or three minutes with each puppy doing that exercise, maybe three to five times a day. 